Hey everyone, so the Z8750 showed up today. You can see that on the right side. On the left side, you can see it's build 1511. So we're not on the anniversary update on this GBD win yet. I wouldn't anticipate anyone's GBD win being on build uh, 1607. I do have the ISO, so I can just do a clean install straight to it. Um, but we'll be doing that later. I was figuring this video I could do. Let's get a lot of the ancillary stuff out of the way. I'll show off what the is all the options in the BIOS. We'll take a look at the sound, and we'll try to plug in some micro SD cards and other jazz. So right now you can see my sound level meter is at 60. Uh, let's keep it quiet. And you can see right right here, it's actually pointed right at the exhaust of the GPD one. Hopefully the camera's picking up that sound. So essentially if you were to put your ear directly to the exhaust, it would be at 61 decibels. Which is, uh, uh, which would be loud. I mean, your ear would be right to it. But the further you get away, the further that we move this, away the less um, the less noise it's making so like what are we like five inches away uh, that's you know we're down to 50 decibels uh, so let's go ahead and this is at fan speed 2 which is the max fan speed the nice thing about it is that when it goes into sleep mode it shuts off automatically all right, so it's in fan speed one now. Again, we're pointing right at the exhaust. So like 54 decibels. Uh, hopefully, well, my children are playing in the background, so hopefully it's not too loud. Um, so that's that's that sound. Let's go ahead and switch this uh, sound meter to fast. You can see it's far far more reactionary to uh, like noise clipping, so to speak. Um, so let's go ahead, I'm going to turn off the fan so it doesn't interfere with the sound test that we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and we'll use the mouse and we'll just put it on here. This is just going to be like the default sound. So this, that's the max sound of the device with that one speaker. Uh, so right now the the speaker is located on this side. So essentially we get to around 68 decibels um, with the default window sound just so that you know you can reproduce and you can kind of get an understanding of what that is. You can take a look at sound uh, sound charts and see see what that means like in terms of whisper and all the other jazz. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to put this to sleep. Let's do a size comparison real quick. So we'll uh, we'll close this up, and so this is this is an original. This is the OG. Let me open this up. This one is the OG Pandora. This is the Circuit Co one that I got in a long time ago. Uh, we'll just stack that on top of that. Get an eye for thickness. This is a new 3ds XL. Uh, this is a PS Vita. There's Wii remote, and this is a JXD S5800, just so that people can kind of see, like, width-wise. Like, the PS Vita is a little bit less wide than that. We'll go to the PS Vita to the GPD win. It's considerably thinner uh, this way, less wide uh, depth-wise. Uh, we're looking around the same if you include the analog sticks, but now this is in a nice clamshell. Um, comparatively to the new 3DS XL, um, it's pretty good. I mean, the 3DS, the new 3DS XL is probably a little bit wider, but it's pretty, pretty close to a new 3DS XL in terms of overall size. Let me just get this tripod set up a little, uh, move this out of the way. Some people were asking about like 3DS, uh, cases. Let me get this out. Put that over there. Let's see if that... These are, this was a case specifically meant for a 3DS XL, not a new 3DS X, but just an old 3DS XL. And fits pretty perfectly. So yeah, go ahead and buy any 3DS or uh, 3DS XL accessory, uh, case-wise, and you should be, you should be golden. I'll close that up. Closes no problem, and it's contained inside. 
So yeah, go ahead and get 3DS XL cases because uh, it'll fit no problem. Let me uh, get the cans out of the way. Get that out of the way. Put that on the side. I'll charge it up again in a second. Uh, let's press enter here. Okay, let's get all this other junk out of the way. Let me frame this a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and so you can see, hopefully you can see it here, this is the, I don't know if it's going to get in focus, it's really tiny. This is the 200 gig SanDisk card. Uh, let's see if I know how to put it in the right way. It's, oh, that's nice. It's actually labeled on the on the win. Which way is the correct way of pushing, pushing it in? Ooh, hold on, I'm getting a knock at the door. So that's the little indicator that I was telling you about. It actually shows you the correct way of putting in the micro SD card. Um, so yeah, that's the 200 gig. It already showed up and is working. Let's go ahead and put in, uh, this is the, this one is the Samsung Fit 128 gig. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about the, uh, the SanDisk one. Let me make sure I got it going in the right way. Yeah. So that's what the Samsung Fit is going to look like when it's in your GPD Win. So it's not taking up a whole bunch of room. It's kind of nice, I think. So let us go ahead and. Alrighty. So this is going to focus. Alright, there we go. So we're focused now. Uh, let's go to. I shouldn't use the viewfinder to look around what I'm doing. So you can see this is the micro SD card that's 200 gig. Uh, I have 141 gigs free. Um, 